This week, uh, we're gonna spend this last week of school of geometry thinking about one topic um, that relates in Algebra 2. So we're gonna try to take trigonometry and then make functions out of it. We're not gonna do that today, but in order to understand that, you need to learn about this thing called the unit circle. And even in order to start to understand that, let's review some special right triangles, but consider these two different special right triangles, the 45, 45, 90, the 30, 60, 90, but the hypotenuse is one unit in length. So could we solve for the other sides? Remember that this is x and this is x for 45, 45, 90, and this hypotenuse is x times the square root of two. And so I wanna represent uh, these two sides uh, in terms of x, but I know that the hypotenuse is one, so let's just solve that really fast. One equals x root two, and then you divide by the square root of two, and so that means that, I'm gonna switch them around, x equals one divided by the square root of two. Remember, I do not like irrational numbers in the denominator of any fraction. So let's just rationalize the denominator by multiplying by root two over root two, and what you end up with is the square root of two divided by two. Root two times root two is two. Okay, so that's one really important thing here. Both of these sides are the square root of two over two. Okay, that's the length of those. If the hypotenuse is one, the other two sides are root two divided by two. Let's do the same thing for a 30, 60, 90. Um, remember that this is two X and this is X. So that means that this side here has to be one half, right? Because if this is one, then this side is half of that or one half. This side is X root three. And so if we think about that, that means that um, uh, x root 3, if I substitute uh, a 1 half in place of the x, I get 1 half times the square root of 3. But you know, I'm sorry, 1 half times the square root of 3. But we don't um, leave it like that. We would just, you know, multiply it through and we could say that that means that um, it's the square root of 3 divided by 2. Okay, so that's the length of this side here. So if the hypotenuse is one unit long, um, then the, this side is one half, and this side is the square root of three divided by two. So that is really important to creating a unit circle. Now consider this circle that I drew, and we're gonna say that the radius of the circle is exactly one unit long. Oh man, I'm having a hard time. So the coordinates of this point are zero com, or I'm sorry, one comma zero. Now what I wanna do is find the coordinates of some other points considering if we take this point and rotate it this direction, let's say we rotate it at 30 degrees, okay? So if this was 30 degrees, what are the coordinates of that point? And let's think about what that, how we could figure that out. Well, if we connect that, remember that the radius of the circle is one unit, and then we can create a right triangle and I can see then that in this, if this is a 30 degree angle here, that um, the, the X coordinate is this length here. And so that is the medium side. So the X coordinate of this one is the square root of three over two. I'm just using that, that thing that we discovered already. And the Y coordinate here, well, if the hypotenuse is one, then that means the shortest side here is one half. So I know that the X coordinate is root three over two and the Y coordinate is one half. Um, and you could do the same for a 45 degree, right? So you would have a 45, 45, 90 in this case. And so you can figure out the coordinates of a 45 degree angle, okay? You could do the same for, um, let's look at another, uh, let's look at, oh no, let's do this one. Let's look at 120 degrees. If this is a 120 degree rotation, this is from this direction. Here, maybe I'll do this in a different color. From this direction, if that's 120 degrees, you should be able to figure out what is the, what is the measurement of this angle here, because it's the supplement to that. So that means that this is a 60 degree angle. So though this is a 120 degree rotation, I have a special right triangle here that has a 60 degree angle here and a 30 degree angle up here and the Hypotenuse is still one, and so the coordinates of that, well, the x is negative, but that's the short side, so it's negative one half, and the y coordinate is positive, and that's this sec the medium side, so that's the square root of three over two. Um, let's do one more. 
let's say I wanted to do, this is 180 plus another 45, so that's 225 degrees. Okay, so that means that since this is a 45 degree angle here, because I went 180 degrees plus another 45 degrees, I gotta think about, well, what are the X and the Y coordinates of that angle? Remember that in a 45, 45, 90, both sides are the square root of two over two, this length here. And they're both negative in this case, down here. So that means the coordinates of this are negative root two over two, negative root two over two. And your job for today is simply to fill out the unit circle with all of the coordinates, including the ones at, uh, at 90 degrees, 180, and 270 degrees. Good luck.